I create Alexa uh, Alexa skills on Amazon Lambda using Clojure Script. I have some instructions. If you go out to GitHub, GitHub and you search for Alexa template, you'll be able to find these instructions. And basically, you're going to need to have the Amazon Web Services command line interface installed on your machine. I have a link to that here. I also you also need Linogen. If you're a Closure Closure Script user, you probably already have that, but there's a link if you don't. And then what you'll need to run is right here. If we go into our terminal and we do line new Alexa Lambda. And then whatever we want to name this, it will go ahead and create our project for us. If we go CD Sporks, and we do a tree, we'll see that it created the you know basic four files that we need. If you look at the instructions here, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a default role. You can either do this or you can edit your projects.clj to use an existing role you have. Uh, but for our purposes, let's just go ahead and run this command. And that goes ahead and creates a role. It also modifies our project CLJ to use whatever role it gets from Amazon when it creates it. So it did, and then the next thing we can do is to deploy our project out onto Lambda. And this takes a minute because it does use the Google Closure compiler, has to download any dependencies that uh, for Node.js dependencies or anything like that. And then it needs to compile our Closure project, and then it needs to upload it up to AWS Lambda. And so it takes a minute to do all that. And kind of let it, let it click through, do its thing. Usually, most of the things I've written, I've written some pretty complicated uh, AWS Lambda projects, and they can take 45 seconds to a minute to compile each time. This one probably takes a tad bit longer because it's downloading the for dependencies the first time and and so forth, building everything the first time. And so then on the Amazon side, we're going to want to go ahead and go into the Amazon Developer Console. You'll need to log in if you aren't already. And then you'll need to add a new skill. And we give it just whatever name we want. The invocation name is the critical thing. It needs to be something unique, and it can't it can't be something else you're using or other people are using. So we'll just think of something clever to put there. And then let's check back and see if our compilation worked. It does look like it compiled. Oh no, it's still thinking. You can go back to the instructions here. We're going to need to copy this information. And this is kind of the default intents that we're starting with on the starter project. And so we'll go ahead and paste that in here. And so the intents are basically the functions that are going to be called. And I have two of them here, get hello and get goodbye. And there's also a set of utterances here. And we're going to want to put those in there. And you'll change these as soon as you uh, are working on your own project. This is just kind of to get you started. Uh, so basically it'll call, if you say hi to your Alexa, or if you say hello, it's going to call the get hello function. And if you say goodbye or bye, it's going to say get goodbye function. So we'll hit next there. And this one also takes a few minutes to chug along. It has to make sure that all these things work. So the validation takes a little bit. Let's check back on our compile. It does look like it uploaded to AWS, so that's good. So if we go over to our AWS Lambda 
uh, so I'm logged into AWS uh, here, and this is my AWS console, and then I went into the Lambda. And let's reload it here, and we should see our Spork Magic uh, function in here. There it is, Spork's Magic. So I'm going to click on that guy and take a look at him. Uh, what we critically need is this guy. And we're going to tell uh, we're going to tell the Alexa console here that we're using it in North America, and that this is the resource name we're using. And then we can hit next. Oh, and it tells us we need to make sure Alexa Skills Kit is selected for our event source type. So we go over here. There's triggers. And we're going to need to add a trigger, and then we're going to click here, and we're going to say it's an Alexa Skills Kit trigger, and then Submit, and there we go. So now if we go back here and hit Next, it looks like that's working. And then we go into the test. So it says Ask Sporks Galore. And in the test function, we can see that it is getting output speech that says in plain text, hello. hello. So that looks good. And if we go over here, let's check here, skills information. Now I should be able to talk to my Alexa too. Open Sporks Galore. Welcome Clojure Script. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Bye. So my uh Hello. So it's working. Um let me go ahead and show you what we have here real quick so that you can know where to go from here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Atom. So we go to their Sporks folder, hit open. You'll see that we have a source, and we have our Sporks, and we have our core CLJS. And basically what happens, this Sporks Magic gets called whenever we, uh, our function gets data from Amazon. And I take it, it, it becomes in as a JSON, and I just basically break it up into, different, into, a, into a request details map here. So I break it up, I, I, create a, I get the session ID, application ID, user ID, request type, session state, all, the, all these things. And then... You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, I look at the intent and I have a get hello here. And then you have your response. Um, and then I have a get goodbye and I have a response. And the, the, on a launch, it's just returning hello, welcome closure script. Uh, basically, um, we are returning a closure map, which gets converted back into JSON and gets delivered you know, back to the service, and so it reads the JSON, and there's some good information on the website. If you go over to the, um, uh, if you look at this Alexa, if you Google out for Alexa Skills JSON reference you'll see basically the JSON that you return. There's kind of, here's what you get. Here's what you get when they send us data. Is JSON like this. Tells us what, what they're doing. And then we reply. There's lots of instructions on the uh, 
and then here's our response. So we've given back information as far as uh, what speech to give, what card to create, what to say if they don't answer, and so forth. So that's that's the basics of it. From there, you can go ahead and modify your, uh, you know, what you want your. Um, you can modify this to fit your needs. Uh, basically, just change your Alexa side uh, as far as what your intents are and what your utterances are, and then write closure script that dispatches based on those different uh, intents, and then runs whatever functions you want. It just needs to return basically a closure map that's in the right uh, right format to be parsed into the JSON that the device requires and you're good to go. So let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate it.